so this will be in this way you will get the last function and in between you have to operate a large number of time the j minus operator in almost all the books the table is given so the so for example let us suppose j2 equals to one half and any arbitrary value of j1 then this uh, table I'm um, this <coughs> table so the for j2 the value of j2 is one half and for any value of j1 you can get all the clips garden coefficients so this is the table which is almost uh, present in all the books so then this table gives us the values of clips garden coefficients let me take an example let us suppose j1 equals to 1 so <coughs> The J value could be the J value could be one plus half or one minus half. When J one equals to let uh, let us suppose J one equals to one and J two equals to one half, then the J value could be one plus half and one minus half okay so this tells us that the phi function for j1 equals to 1 and j2 equals to 1 half this will be for j2 equals to 1 half and j1 equals to 1 the phi function will be 1 1 half this is j1 this is j2 and j m the j value is uh, let us take j1 plus one half that is one plus one half that is three upon two and m you can get any value you can get three by two one over two minus 1 over 2 minus 3 by 2 so this m can take any values so <coughs> using this eclipse garden coefficient this table the eclipse garden coefficient will be square root of j1 is 1 and plus 1 over 2 that is 3 over 2 plus m 3 over 2 plus m or 2 j1 is 1 plus 1 that is 3 and psi j1 is 1 j2 is 1 over 2 and m1 is m m1 is m minus 1 over 2 and m2 is 1 over 2 because this is the value of m1 this is j1 this is j2 and this is the value of m1 and this is the value of m2 as you know that m1 plus m2 equals to m so this is m minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 must be equal to m plus this is 
uh, square root of j1 is 1 and uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 that is 3 over 2 minus m 3 over 2 minus m over 3 because j1 is 1 and psi j1 is 1 j2 is 1 over 2 and m is m is here minus 1 over 2 m2 is minus 1 over 2 so this is minus 1 over 2 because for this Klebsch garden coefficient the m2 value is minus 1 over 2 so if m2 is minus 1 over 2 then m will be m plus 1 over 2 as I told you that this value the value of m1 and m2 must be equal to m so these are the wave functions corresponding to the m value so <clears throat> let me consider the case when j equals to 3 over 2 and m equals to 1 over 2 let uh, put m equals to 1 over 2 so this will be phi 1 1 upon 2 3 upon 2 and m is 1 upon 2 this will be equal to when m is 1 over 2 if you put m value is 1 over 2 as we put it here you will get 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 that is uh, 2 so it will be 2 upon 3 psi 1 1 half this is m is one half so this will become zero zero and one upon two plus square root of three over two minus one over two so it will be one one over three psi psi 1 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 this is 1 minus 1 over 2 remember <coughs> that the value of m must be equal to the sum of m1 plus m2 so 0 plus half equals to 1 over 2 and 1 minus 1 over 2 equals to 1 over 2 so for n equals to 2 and l equals to 1 the poly wave function for this state is square root of 2 over 3 or 2 1 this is m this is l of r y 1 0 because the value of m is uh, <coughs> this is j1 this is m1 and this is spin up state spin up plus square root of 1 upon 3 R two one of R Y one one and this is spin down state. 
this is this is spin up state is denoted by 1 0 and this is denoted by 0 1 similarly you can take another example if j1 is equal to 2 if j1 is equal to 2 and j2 is equal to 1 half then the j value will be j1 plus j2 the j value will be j1 plus j2 or j1 minus j2 that is when j1 is uh, when j1 is 2 and j2 is 1 over 2 then this will be 5 over 2 r this will be 3 by 2 and you can immediately write the when j1 is equal to l equals to 2 and j2 equals to 1 over 2 so the phi function corresponding to the j value the j value could be j1 plus j2 or j1 minus j2 so let us take j1 plus j2 that is 2 plus 1 over 2 that will be 5 over 2 when j1 plus j2 this will be 2 plus 1 over 2 it will be 5 over 2 this is the value of j so the phi function corresponding to j equals to 5 over 2 this is j1 equals to 2 j1 equals to 1 over 2 and j value is 5 over 2 and let us take m equals to 1 over 2 so this will become from the table when j1 is 2 and m is 1 over 2 this is j1 equals to 2 m is 1 over 2 uh, so this will become square root of uh, 2 plus half plus half this will be 3 over 2 plus uh, 2 times 2 plus 1 this will be 5 and psi j1 value is 2 j2 value is 1 over 2 and m1 value is 0 let me write the m1 value later first we have to write m2 value so here for this value here the value of m2 is 1 over 2 from the table you can see that for this cleft garden coefficient the value of m2 is 1 over 2 so we have to write 1 over 2 so when here in the phi function m is equal to 1 over 2 then m1 plus 1 uh, m2 must be equal to this one so this must be the value of m1 must be equal to 0 plus here for m2 equals to minus half j1 is 2 m is 1 over 2 and this will become 2 square root of 2 over 5 psi 2 1 over 2 and when m2 is minus 1 over 2 then m m1 must be equal to 1 and remember these coefficient must be normalized that means the square of this one plus square of this one must be equal to 1 
So this is my Pauli wave function and the wave function must come very simple. So the corresponding Pauli wave function is is come to be square root of 3 over 5 r 3 2 where par n equals to 3 y 2 0 and spin up state that is 1 0 plus square root of 2 over 5 r 3 2 y 2 1 and spin down state so you have the responding poly wave function for n equals to 3 is square root of 3 over 5 r 3 2 y 2 0 and square root of 2 over 5 r 3 2 y 2 1 so using this table which I have shown to you uh, you can calculate for the let's suppose I will leave it as an exercise for you calculate the Pauli wave function for n equals to 5 and j1 equals to 3 j2 equals to 1 half so the j value for could be 3 plus half or 3 minus half so you take j value that is 3 plus half equals to 5 half and take the m value as 3 half similarly you can have the j value equals to 7 by 2 and m equals to 5 by 2 calculate the Pauli wave function so I have given you the complete theory of calculation of Klebsch garden coefficient so you start from the maximum value of J and maximum value of M and relate it to the psi function corresponding to the eigenvalues of J1 square J2 square J1 Z and J2 Z and the constant coefficients which relates the psi functions to the phi functions uh, are called as the Klebsch garden coefficients and you can cal calculate them using this table so so this is uh, <coughs> the addition of angular momenta is complete so I hope you might have understood the theory. Thank you very much.